All right, hey guys, welcome back to Fire Alarms and Such, and this is Notify AFP 200 Test 7, Annunciators and 7002 T's. So I got some more uh, cool stuff up. So coming down here at the first pull station, we have an Ademco 529 pull station. Now they normally come with like a, kind of like a waxy cardboard washer. I made, I have one, I made my own with plastic so it's um, reusable and that way I'm not destroying the washers. Um, so that is what that is holding it in and we'll be pulling this today. Coming up here is a Wheelock 7002T-24 horn strobe. This is a two wire device flashing at 0.4 candela and this will be doing continuous mechanical horn. If we come over here we have a Simplex uh, 4904 9176 horizontal remote strobe. And uh, this is an unknown candela, but it's pretty low since it is a semi-frosted strobe. And then if we come over here, we have a Gen Tux Commander 2 set at 75 candela, again remote strobe. So the only horn you'll be hearing today is the Wheelock 7002T. Coming over here, we have a Simplex 4251-20 single action pole station. And then a Notifier LCD80 Annunciator, and we'll be doing a lot of work from that today. And then coming over here to the final pulse station is another Simplex 4251-20, but this one I replaced the uh, pull handle with a grip handle. I got two grip handles now, so this one has the uh, grip one. You can see it still says pull down, but it's curved, so you can hold on to it. So to begin, I actually think we'll start with the uh, 4251-20. So here we go in three, two, one. and do an alarm silence from the enunciator and you can see it says alarm pull station hall point point two zone four because that is our pull station zone we can acknowledge that and uh, hold for status does not work uh, you can see it says function is not in available contrast adjust we can do a lamp test yep so we will go ahead and reset the pull station We'll get our Cat30 key out. At the inside, and there's pull station. And then we can come back to the enunciator and do a panel reset. And now the panel is resetting. So now we can do the Ademco 529 pole station. Here we go in three, two, one, pull. We can silence from the panel and then we will reset this pulse station. This one's kind of a pain to uh, reset one handed, but I think I can do it. Whew, that almost could have ended really badly. So, here's what the inside of the pulse station looks like it's really a <laughs> simple and cheap pulse station. So, we will realign the screw. Place, so it closes back down on the button. We can go ahead and do a panel reset. Alright, 
And then we can now go over to the desk and pull the regular 4251-20. So, here we go in three, two, one, pull. <laughs> We'll just go ahead and do a panel reset right from there and then we will smoke test the uh oh my god which one is that that's the cpx 751 because this is the uh, ionization head so we'll go ahead and get some paper do not try this at home we'll smoke test it I think we need more smoke. Yes, yeah, it didn't even hit pre alarm. Oh, never mind. We can do an alarm silence there. I don't know why the fan has not been kicking on uh, during alarm. I just realized it didn't come on when the smoke came on. Um, I wonder if one of my wires came loose on the relay. So I'll have to uh, fix that. So we'll let that uh, clear out for a minute and we can try reset. And we'll see if that will reset happily or not or if it will go right back into alarm. And it looks like we're good. So, we have all normal. So let's come in the back here and pull the addressable pull station. You can see it blinking away here. We'll go ahead and give it a pull. So push in and pull. So we'll do an alarm silence. So you can see it was the storage room pole station 0.7 zone 4. We can go ahead and do a reset. Alright, so that has been Notifier AFP 200 Test 7 Annunciators and 7002 T's. So thank you guys for watching and as always, have a wonderful day.